Springtime, U of T. I'm John Smith. And I'm Irina Vukasavich. In our breaking news today, a man claiming he had a gun barged into Robarts last Wednesday morning. The 23-year-old man was not a U of T student and according to police was yelling and threatening others. The man proceeded to the fourth floor despite not having a T card. Officials have not yet confirmed how he was able to get past Robart's security. According to Vice Provost Jill Mattis, security was very quickly on the scene, as well as campus police and Toronto Police Services. The man was arrested but no weapon was found on him. Charges, including threatening bodily harm, have been laid and are pending. With fourth year students approaching graduation, many are displaced and have a loss of identity and a sense of self concerning their role in society. What are they to do? Well, Fiona is bringing us breaking news and interviews about that. I'm Fiona Traby with UT TV. For many of us, we go through school to reap the hardships of our labor and land that dream job at the end of the finish line. But what if I told you that dream job won't be there? I'm uh, Peter Mastrakos and I'm a fifth year uh, University of Toronto uh, student in physical education and health uh, going into occupational therapy at Western which is a master's program in September. I'm Angie Calavides. I'm in my final year of study at the University of Toronto with a double major in equity studies and women and gender studies and I'm graduating in June. I took a fifth year to finish my undergrad. Okay. So once I figured out what I wanted to do and I figured that out in my fifth year that I wanted to do occupational therapy, I just decided to apply right away and try to get in right away to finish. I've, I've started looking. Okay. I'm using the Career Center here at U of T. Okay. And I'm also using a headhunting agency and just looking on the internet. Um, I mean, I wanted to pursue medical school at one point when I was yes. in high school. And I haven't completely taken that off the table. Okay. Um, but if I find something in occupational therapy that I kind of like and I can yeah. do in like a medical setting, um, then I'll do it. And I do think getting into medical school, when, if you do have that master's degree, it does look yes. a lot better. Okay. It has, it is becoming, it's becoming more, because now the, world, the job market is so competitive when you're coming out of school, mm -hmm. so having the MA is, in the long, not to say that you're not qualified. No, 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 yeah, but I'm just saying in the long run, it's potentially, yes. with more employers, the MA is more up there, it's the new BA, like you said, I agree with you. Okay. Um, yeah, I would kind of, I would agree with that statement. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know what you can really do with an MA these days un unless you pursue research. You, you'd have to kind of pursue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a PhD. That's what Got I would it. think, Got it. Okay. from my opinion. I mean, I would want to pursue a PhD if I yeah. had an MA. I mean, Perfect. yeah. Jeez, well, you Why know what? The this? majority of U of T students were lined up at the Beaver Tail last Thursday. Beaver Tail, where? Well, that was, they were having a little food truck event at the side of Sydney Smith. Really? And I was fortunate enough to go, and by coincidence, I brought a camera with me. That's pretty awesome. Let's uh, take a look at that. See all these sold out little uh, dishes? U of T students are hungry today. Yo, what's good? I'm here with Maha Mansur. And I'm here with John Smith. And she's allowing me to take a bite of her portobello sandwich. You only got the bread. I did only get the bread. Yeah. That's very good bread. <laughs> this just in. This little shack right here makes some darling delicious bread. And some darling delicious quinoa salads. And for the proportion of mushroom I got <laughs> with that piece of bread, god damn is it flavorful. <laughs> here we are at Beaver Tail where U of T students are all too eager to tickle their taste buds with a little bit of beaver. <laughs> For hours on end, they've been lining up to rally behind this symbol of a child with beaver blood around its lips. And over there, a child with blood around its hands. What menacing chaos has been brought to our school, we are about to find out. Let's go. Where are you from? I'm from Korea. We, here we have, what's your name? Uh, Ryan. Here we have Ryan from Korea, traveling all the way across the globe <laughs> to s participate in the slaughter of our national animal. <laughs> what can you say about this? Oh, uh, it looks really good and I really want to try. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> very nice. There you have it. 
Here I am with Ash and Laurent, and they are about to embark on a 20 day journey to get themselves some beaver tail. About 20 days, yeah. About 20 days, yeah. About 20 days. <laughs> now, what can you say about them? Wait, hype me up. <laughs> hype me up. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's journey. really like any other pastry, except it's just prepared in a different style, right? Mm. And like, it's kind of like, it's it's analogous to a funnel cake. You've had those at... Uh, yeah, yeah, Candace Wonderland. Yeah, Candace yeah, Wonderland. Yeah. It's kind of like that. It's just shaped differently. You can add, you know, strawberries, you know, mm. cinnamon. And okay, whatever. cool. It's not much of hyping it up, but it tastes really good. It's, yeah. it's like one of those things where you have to try to, to actually appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. There we have it. Try it to believe it. Come one, come all. Beaver Tales. Well, that was another fantastic episode of UTTV News. I'm your host, John Smith. And I'm Irina Vukasavich. Take it easy, Toronto. Uh, okay. Today at UTTV News, we bring you light! Right. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought you were going to say I'm John Smith. Oh. But no more news, so, uh, what's up, John? Johnny boy? Nothing, Christina. What's up with you? My name isn't Christina, so, <laughs> so I don't... <sighs> well, what another fantastic episode of UTTV News, Christina. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye. That was actually like, Irina, my bad. Alright, let's try again. There you go. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Yeah. That was one super sexy episode of UTTV News, Christine. But fuck! Such a Is this a joke? No, it's oh not. Oh my a god, joke. I'm gonna throw you idiot. out of the like, window. No.